And um, they also put an E sometimes on the end of things. They're kind of um, just prepared for Tanzanian English school. But. Okay, we are here. So uh, what I'll do is I will let them introduce themselves. And then if you want, you can ask them questions. You can keep asking me questions. That's fine. But let me uh, introduce them or have them talk about themselves first. Perfect. So maybe introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Daniel. I come from to the Lucia at Ngorongoro district. Are you familiar with where that is in Ngorongoro? It's a crater that's uh, northeastern Tanzania. That's where a lot of the Maasai live. And it's, it's also uh, another big animal park. You can see a lot of animals there. I've got it up on Google Earth right now so the kids can see. Okay. See that pretty landscape? It's beautiful land. That's where these gentlemen are from. Um, very pretty, very pretty area. First off, um, gentlemen, thank you so kindly for for being with us today. We really appreciate you taking the time to um, help our, our students. Thank you very kindly. Okay, thank you so much, and you. So, um, do we have some some students who'd like to ask Mike? Should we have them ask questions? Yeah, uh, they can ask me. They can ask them aside. It's whatever they want. Sounds good. Let's have. Um, Maddie, if you could stand up and. Um, oh, do you know? Yeah, I wonder what the pinching man. Do you know the pinching man? The pinch. The pinching man, do you know? Have you, have you been pinched? Have, wait, wait. Did, did they pinch you? Oh, I changed from today because I'm working. No, pinching man. Pinching. Like when you misbehave, they pinch. Like this one. They go pinch. <laughs> Bye. Baya. Baya. We told them Baya. Do they, so, do they pinch you? Okay. No, he's, he's, he's never been pinched, I guess. He's, he's, he was a good boy. <laughs> boy. <laughs> what we did is, um, I'll share, we read a book, Facing the Lion, by Joseph Le Coutan. Um, it's a book about the Maasai, and there's a story in the book about the pinching man that the kids really liked. So... Um, that's where that's where that that's where we learned a little bit about that, and we talked. To, um, I talked to kids a little bit about the Maasai, but obviously, um, having you gentlemen here is, is is really a neat experience. I mean, how cool is that to have to get real world experience in class? It's, it's yes, wonderful. Between the uh, Maasai and uh, Africa, <coughs> okay, fine. It is good because my community is the good that. Uh, it's my community, I know, but it's very expensive to to discuss. Oh, to, to, to live here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's uh, saying it's, it's very expensive to live here, and so they have to work and raise money, and a lot of that money goes back home to support their families who are still living in, uh, in Goro and Goro. Another thing that we talked about, maybe um, the Maasai gentleman could just talk a little bit about this, in one of the stories, they talk about um, facing the lion, the li um, lion hunt. That um, boys become men. You have to face uh, fight a lion with only a spear and go into a lion hunt. Um, one of you gentlemen speak about that place. There is uh, not uh, someone people who's going up as a group to explain uh, lions. So you go as a group. Yes. Okay. Okay. One, one okay, so so they, they go in groups to do that, and um, so how, how old are you when you do that? How, uh, uh, yeah, maybe yeah. 18 years. Okay. 18. Okay. Even you have 18, you're going to do that. Yeah, they, they go in groups, and it's um, old, it's probably more young adults that do it. Um, he said that uh, they're mostly over 18. Taylor, did you have a question? Here, just get on the camera, and then that way we can. You can Hi. see you. My name is Taylor. And what does the soda in Africa taste like compared to the soda in the U.S.? The Coke here is definitely much better than in the U.S. And I know it's probably not going to be a very popular answer. Um, the, the reason yeah. is in the United States they use corn syrup uh, to sweeten it. And here they just use pure sugar cane. So uh, nothing refined. It's just pure sugar. Um, and it, it tastes excellent. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, the milk and, uh, and meat. Milk and meat. Uh, Cameron, do you have a question for uh, Michael and Mike? Are any of these gentlemen from Africa? Yes. Yeah. 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 
Christo, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so he is an atheist. Yeah, yeah, myself yeah. and this guy. Okay, which so Lutheran? Yeah, Catholic. Oh, Catholic. Okay, yeah, they are. They're Catholic. Who's Ellie? Nini, wanna wanna think in Asia, Ngo. Okay, from is it? Uh, from Malusha. From Malusha. From Malusha. Yes. What what material is it? Uh, materials that are used from my Pemba. Pemba. Okay, so it's it's cotton. They they make their own from Malusha. Is it, is it you know itchy? Um, like like itch. Like the, the clothes. Yes, no. 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 <laughs> this is David. Um, they want to know about dances, the traditional Maasai dances. Oh, dancing, okay. Um, the, the, maybe the jumping, the jumping dance. Oh. You, you want them to do it now? They can, sure. Okay, yeah. Um, the the uh, Chesa, the Chesa you dancing. Want to do now? They, want, they want to see. You guys, you want to do now? No. Yeah. 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 Okay. Fine. Right, here we go. Okay. Here so we maybe go. so they can see you here. You want me to do it? Okay. You want me to do it too? <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay, is that good enough? <laughs> Maybe we can show you the, the spear that he brought? Yeah, let's do the spear. Okay. okay. So maybe stand, uh, stand back a little. Well, here. We'll show you a close up of the tip of the spear. Okay, so it's, it's a lion spear. Whoa. Yeah, That's pretty neat. So I guess so this this actual spear has been used on a lion. <laughs> Whoa! A real lion spear. Real That's lion. pretty neat. An ex lion. <laughs> An ex lion. Um. Nathan wanted to know about cell phones in Tanzania and cell phone service and, um, you know, do the, the Maasai have cell phones? They, they do, actually. Um, you may have just heard Daniel's ring a little while ago. Quite a few people have phones here. That's, that's how uh, most people keep in touch. Um, the, the service is, is pretty good. It, it depends on the carrier that you're using. I'm using one that's called Vodafone which is supposedly the biggest cell phone carrier in the world, but in certain parts of Tanzania, it gets it can get choppy. Um, and not a lot of people here have internet. It's a luxury. And when they do get on internet, it's usually on a, at a cafe. They don't have their own computers necessarily. So it's mostly they communicate by cell phone. Here's Amanda. Hi, I'm Amanda. Hey, Amanda. So what about the huts, the, um, the traditional huts? Oh, the uh, Yimba Masai. You make of uh, soil, dirt? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so in grass? Grass, but I mean, I know there's maybe there's uh, four people, six people, or something. 
Okay, so, so the, the family will build? The, okay. So the family builds their own house and it's made out of mud and straw and probably some sticks on the inside for support. Okay. Uh, what do you guys do with your free time? What kind of things do you do in your free time? Uh, recreational activities? Um, I spend a lot of my time online on Facebook. Um, I correspond yeah. with a lot of my friends back home. <laughs> And I don't know, I think you probably saw a couple of uh, movies That's yesterday. I, I, I film a lot of uh, things that I see, uh, like the, the animal park, like the Serengeti, and when I went to visit the Maasai last week. And I edit those and I basically put them online for people to watch. And um, I also try to get out and walk every day at least, half an hour to an hour. There's a nice hill right behind where we live. And um, so that, that makes for some really good exercise. And, and you get a really nice view once you get up to the top. You can see Lake Victoria really well. Well, um, so I'm on time for us to go. So uh, we wanted to give everybody, um, can you give uh, Mike and the Matai a big round of applause? <laughs> and, um, well, well, thank you for your questions. We really enjoyed it. Yeah, this was really, Mike, this was really, really neat. And gentlemen, thank you for being with us. Uh, it's pretty neat, you know, when I think about teaching, for how we can just make a click and we can literally be across the, the ocean conversing with you guys, learning more about, um, really learning more about each other, learning more about culture, learning more about um, things that make, um, make us all similar and uniquely different. So thank you very kindly. Oh, it's, it's our pleasure, and we'll be happy to do it again at some point. Awesome. Well, thanks again. All right, thank you.